addition. Monite presentation. It's monite presentation. Monite presentation. So consider the monite. Uh, consider the, um, the monite. Let's take this monite B, which is generated by two elements. Uh, a B such that uh, the defining uh, condition is uh, A B is equal to one. This one. And uh, uh, we will see that uh, it's actually equal to, or you can say isomorphic to the monite, pre monite, generated by these two letters A B over the congruence row where. What's this row? The row is the congruence uh, generated by this relation. Okay, this relation. R R is uh, R is this pair, uh, only one pair, or contains only one pair. So. Well, uh, you can see uh, the row classes. Uh, what are, uh, it's a row classes actually. Since A B is one, uh, if you uh, if you want to find uh, the row class of say A B, it's same as row class of one. So you can see this row class of A B is same as row class of one. That's uh, because they are row related. Or uh, if you want to find row class of say a q b square a square b power five, it's the row class. If you want to find its row class, what will be its row class? Now you can see it's equal to. You can uh, you can reduce it. Uh, it's equal to uh, say. Uh, uh, it's equal to. A Q B square, the row class of A Q B square into A square B five, row class of A square B five, and here uh, I can write it as uh, uh, it's equal to uh, say A B. I can write it as uh, can I write uh, it is. Uh, a B always uh, it's uh, it's A square times uh, it's the row class of A square then row class of A B then row class of B I can write it as uh, like this and and here I can write it as uh, uh, row class of A then row class of a b then row class of b power 4 you can see so if we can uh, if you again the uh, product it is row class of a square into a b into b that's a q b square and here it's row class of a square into b power 5 but uh, this one row class of a b is equal to 1 that's the identity so it's uh, just row class of a square into row class of b it's uh, a square row into B row because this one is equal to 1 its identity and here uh, this one uh, you can see it's a uh, row class of A right. and this one is equal to 1 it's just B food okay now again uh, I can write it as A uh, row class of A into row class of A B that's again equal to 1 so it's just uh, it's a uh, you can see here it's equal to uh, it's a uh, row class of a into row class of a b that's equal to one and here I can write it as row class of a b into b cube so it's a uh, row class of b cube so this means it's a row class of a b cube so 
uh, what I am trying to say that uh, this row class of any element is equal to a power n into b power m of row class. Row class of any any word, you can see. Row class of any word. If you take any word with uh, letters a, b, so I can always write this row class of that word is equal to row class of a power n into b power m. This is uh, this is what uh, I am trying to see. So then, uh, then the elements of B are row classes because B is actually a, it's actually a B star or row. So it, it, it has a row classes. Uh, then the elements of B, then the elements of B, then the elements. Uh, or B are row classes are are row classes uh, like uh, they are row classes uh, B power M sorry uh, uh, it's, it's, I can again uh, change it uh, it's equal to a B into it's row class of B squared just row class of B squared. now suppose if we have I have power here, a power 5 then uh, I can treat it as I can write it as row class of C a square like this a square so uh, sorry not a square uh, it will always be, suppose here it's uh, a again uh, one more a is here suppose uh, then I can uh, write it as row class of b cube a. so in general it's row class of b m a power n b m a power n so that's a general form so uh, this one, uh, uh, I want to illustrate it. Uh, suppose uh, we have a row class of say a cube, b power five, and say a power seven. Let me take this. Now uh, it's uh, it's uh, a power seven, the row class of a power seven, as it is. Uh, but here uh, I can. Uh, write it as uh, this one uh, it's uh, say uh, uh, it's a square times uh, it's a square, row class of a b into row class of a b into uh, into row class of uh, b power 4 b four row class okay this one a power 7 okay that's equal to uh, this one it's equal to row class of a square but this one it's equal to 1 it's b power 4 row class and a power 7 row class of a power 7 so again uh, I can write it as row class of a into row class of a b so one by one you can do it uh, into b cube row class uh, you have to club a and b together so that you can uh, then this AB is equal to identity, then you can write row of AB is equal to identity, okay? This is what I am doing actually here, uh, A power 7 row. Now again this is equal to 1, row class of this equal to 1, so again uh, it's just row class of A into row class of B cube into row class of A power 7, and that's again I can write it as uh, row class of AB, uh, so just uh, now uh, it was uh, it's here b cube now it will be here b square because one b will go with this uh, a row into a power seven uh, row class of a power seven now this one it's again equal to one so it's equal to row class of uh, b square a power seven b square a power seven so in general the row classes are of this form where well, these uh, m and n they are non-negative integers m comma n greater or equal to zero greater or equal to zero okay now uh, we show that these row classes are distinct so what's actually now uh, uh, this uh, b is equal to this set actually b m a power m of rho y m comma n greater or equal to zero now uh, it's not exactly the set uh, because uh, we first verified that they are distinct 
we show that uh, the, the uh, these row class are now now we show that now we show that uh, show that these uh, row classes are all distinct are all distinct so for this uh, we consider a sub monoid uh, to prove its uh, to prove they are all distinct consider consider a sub sub monoid generated by these two transformations generated by these two trans sub monoid of full transformation of full a full transformation monoid it is generated by these two transformations what is this transformation <coughs> full transformation monoid uh, that's t n okay t n set up all transformations from n to n t n and why this uh, a is the transformation is this transformation it's equal to 1 goes to 2 then uh, 2 goes to 3 3 goes to 4 and so on. and what's p b is the transformation uh, 1 goes to 1 2 goes to 1 then 3 goes to 2 4 goes to 3 and so on. so uh, this is sub monoid uh, generated this is sub monoid of tn generated by ab generated by ab and you can see this product ab is equal to identity then then the product a b is equal to this one goes to one two goes to two and so on that's equal to one it's the identity of this monoid you can see here product one goes to two two goes to one that means one goes to one two goes to three three goes to two that means two goes to two three goes to four and four goes to three it means three goes to three it's a, it's identity this product is identity so it's 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 same uh, like this b we generated by two elements with the product is equal to one like this so we can identify this uh, with that semi group. Product is equal to 1. Product is equal to 1. So uh, if uh, uh, now uh, you can uh, define a map, uh, define a map uh, phi, define phi from a B to this M by this M is a monoid. It's this monoid. Which I already construct. Uh, what's this M? Consider the monoid M. This is monoid M. Okay, generated by A B. M is the monoid generated by this capital A and capital B. Okay. Let's define a map this to M by A phi is equal to A and B phi is equal to B. B phi is equal to B. Okay. Let's say uh, define this. This is size suppose not phi. Let's take this as psi. Size of map. So size of map from this the letters uh, of the same monoid generated by this uh, to M. Then uh, by uh, theorem uh, because uh, this is the pre monoid generated by A B. So then, there exists a map uh, which I will denote by phi, phi from a b star to m, and that map. Uh, what's the definition of that map? Uh, and what's the definition of that map? It's like this a one, a two, so on, a n of phi. What's that definition? It's equal to so output should be an M, it's equal to psi A1. So these A1 is A2, they are, they are either A or B, okay? Okay, because uh, it's a monoid, uh, free monoid generated by AB. So A2 psi, so on A and psi. That's our definition, that's, that's the construction of phi, which we have already constructed. So, so it's either these AIs are either A or B. So in particular, in particular, what's A phi? That's equal to A psi, which is equal to A. And what's B phi? Which is equal to B psi, which is equal to B. 
is equal to b. So a phi a psi is equal to a b psi. B psi is equal to b. Now uh, what will be psi of a b? Then it's equal to capital A capital B, which is equal to one. Psi of a b is equal to one. So that's equal to psi of one. Actually, that's equal to one psi. <coughs> so which is equal to one psi. So which implies a b comma one. It belongs to kernel of. It belongs to kernel of psi. Because psi value of a b is same as psi value of one. Okay. So uh, it's equal to one. Uh, it's uh, their their psi values are same. Their psi values are uh, same. Their psi uh, values are same. So which uh, implies that uh, uh, let's let rho uh, uh, since uh, uh, rho is the congruence uh, 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 rho is the congruence generated by this uh, as already uh, discussed uh, what's the rho actually here uh, in this case uh, what's our rho rho is actually the congruence generated by this pair or uh, this sharp so that means our rho therefore this rho which is equal to a b1 sharp it will be substituted because kernel of size is also is also the con congruence containing this pair but this one this sharp is the smallest congruence containing this pair so it's subset of that it's subset of kernel of psi so again uh, by the same theorem uh, there exists then uh, there exists psi bar from b to that quotient semi group uh, b is a quotient semi group to m which is given by uh, which uh, we have already defined which is given by this uh, psi tilde of uh, any row class what are what are those row classes they are actually b m a n of row it's already um, row class are only these elements now we need to show that they are all distinct actually yeah so uh, you can uh, apply this uh, it's equal to it's equal to b m a n of phi by, by definition uh, you can see from that theorem by definition you can see from that theorem actually and that one uh, if I apply this phi uh, repeatedly and you can see or you can say it's b m phi because phi is a morphism a and phi now if I apply it n times or m times and you can see it's equal to b m a n and you will see they are all distinct. What's B M A? What's this composition? B. They are uh, They are transformations. B M A. And you can see this composition. It's equal to compose B M times compose A N times. Then take their composition. Their mappings actually. It's equal to one goes to N plus one. You can see it's uh, it's not too hard to check uh, this. Uh, two goes to N plus one up to uh, this uh, it's uh, it's m plus 1 m plus 1 also goes to n plus 1 then next we have m plus 2 it will go to n plus 2 so here it's change and uh, so on this is a b m a n b m a n and you can see for any value of n and m for any value of m and n, they are all distinct. They are all distinct. Then, this b power m, a power n are all distinct. Are all? Are all distinct? Are all distinct? So that means that the image of <coughs> the image of these elements are all distinct. Therefore, elements are itself distinct because this is a map. Elements cannot be same because images are distinct. Therefore, elements must be distinct. Elements cannot be same. Then it will be one. Then it will be it, if the elements are same. Then one element will go to two different elements, which is not the case in case which which is not possible in case of mapping as side bar is a map. 
so if the images are distinct then elements are distinct so therefore therefore these uh, elements are all they are all distinct they are all distinct they are all distinct where m greater or equal to 0 n greater or equal to <coughs> 0 and you can see uh, if you, you, you want to find the product of any two elements so a then, then b power p a power q where p q greater or equal to 0 m greater or equal to zero. if you want to find the product of two elements it's equal to it's equal to b power m a power q minus p plus n q minus p plus n if uh, uh, the row class of this element because I already ha I have mentioned that the this product because it will be row class of b power m so uh, if you want to this it's equal to row class of what b power m a power n plus p and uh, a power n sorry a power n into b power p into a power q and you can see this is equal to this has two choices now so this is equal to row class of row class of the following element b power m a power q minus p a power q minus p plus n and uh, uh, if uh, this uh, if uh, n is greater or equal to p and in case uh, n is less or equal to p it will be b power m minus n plus p m minus n plus p into a power q the row class of this one if n is less or equal to p and you can easily verify this because uh, this uh, here n is greater or equal to p so you have to club uh, this a one by one with b up to p times so it will here remain uh, so if we do, do this one way, if we, we, you, n minus p into a power p into b power p and this row class of a power p, b power p, it's equal to 1, you can easily verify this, it's row class of 1, that's good identity. And again here, if n is less or equal to p, now you have to club this b with a, with a uh, n times, uh, so you will do this is equal to this. Uh, 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 if if now n is less than or equal to p, you can see this one. It can be written as a power n into b power n into b power p minus n like this. B power p minus. Now this will be equal to one. So you can easily verify this. Uh, they are equal. This is not too hard. This is not too hard. And uh, we can write this as now product. Uh, of rho class into b power p a power q of rho class it's equal to it's equal to the rho class of uh, b power m into a power into a power uh, into a uh, b power uh, m into b power uh, sorry uh, i will write it as a single letter it's, uh, it's equal to rho class of uh, b power m minus n plus t b power m minus n plus t into a power q into a power q minus uh, p plus t what's this t this t is equal to the it's equal to it actually depends on n and p it's equal to maximum of n and p so you can see it here uh, if n is greater or equal to p then n is the maximum then t will be equal to n if n is greater or equal to p if this n is greater or equal to p then maximum is n so t will be n if t is n it is b power m into a power q minus p plus n that's this b power m a power q minus p plus n if n is less or equal to p then p is the maximum then value of t is p so then this will be 0 it will be b power m minus n plus p into a power q b power m minus n plus p into a power q so that's this uh, product so uh, this thus uh, does this b is isomorphic to n zero cross n zero n zero means uh, 
the zero one it's a uh, set of in positive integers with zero non negative integers with multiplication given by what is the multiplication here with multiplication with multiplication up to mn into pq it should be same it should be like this mn pq like this it's equal to m minus n plus t q minus p plus t what's this t t is the maximum of n comma p so you can easily verify it's isomorphic to this so if we define the map psi of if we define the if if you want to prove it uh, suppose you want to define a map uh, say f from uh, this d to n zero cross n zero define map this by uh, it's b m a n rho class of f you just define it by m comma n the order appear here and then you can check uh, because this n zero cross n, it is not this uh, here. It is not a semi group with respect to the component wise uh, operation, point wise operation. The operation is like this: m n into p q is equal to m minus n plus t q minus p plus t by t is the maximum of these two things. So uh, this, uh, if we define this map like this, uh, uh, f of this because uh, it contains the row classes like this. So if we define, so there is m n. n. Whenever we take any row class, there exists m n n like this, so that uh, we define a map f of row class of is equal to that order p and m n n, which exists here, which exists here. Order. So uh, it's a map. Uh, it's actually well defined map uh, because for every such row class, there is a unique m n n. So it's a well defined map, and it's also a morphism. If I take the product here, uh, so if I take, uh, if you want to see this product of two b m a n of row class. B power P, A power Q of row class, f of the product, it's equal to f of what? What's the product? The product definition of product, it's equal to B power M minus B power M minus N plus T into A power A power Q minus P plus T Q minus P plus T, where T is the maximum of row class. Now this definition is it's equal to M minus N plus T into Q minus P plus T. Now, what is the maximum? And this is actually equal to m n into q p. Q p. Sorry, it's p q. Because the product is like this: m minus n plus t, q minus p plus t, m minus n plus t, q minus p plus t. And that's equal to row class of uh, f of first f of the row class of first element. And uh, this is the f of the this. So it's a morphism. This one. It's a morphism. And it's also one on and on, so therefore this is isomorphic to n zero cross n zero. So this uh, completes uh, the this part of the lecture, the presentation of monoid and semi groups. Thank you.